This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at molar mass. So let's start with a definition. Molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of a substance. The unit for molar mass is grams per mole. As we saw in a previous video, one mole of substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. The molar mass of a substance is numerically equal to its relative atomic mass. The relative atomic masses of elements can be found on the periodic table. Here we can see the relative atomic masses of carbon, magnesium, sulfur and iron. As mentioned previously, the molar mass is numerically equal to the relative atomic mass. However, they are not the same. One difference is that relative atomic mass is dimensionless, in that it has no units. Whereas molar mass has units of grams per mole. So in the next slide we look at how to convert from relative atomic mass to molar mass. So to convert from relative atomic mass to molar mass, multiply by the molar mass constant, which is approximately equal to 1 gram per mole. In this table we have the elements we saw in the previous slide, their relative atomic masses and their molar masses. Starting with carbon which has a relative atomic mass of 12.01. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. Next is magnesium which has a relative atomic mass of 24.31. Its molar mass is 24.31 grams per mole. Next is sulfur which has a relative atomic mass of 32.07. And its molar mass is 32.07 grams per mole. And finally we have iron which has a relative atomic mass of 55.85 and a molar mass of 55.85 grams per mole. So from this table we can see that relative atomic mass and molar mass are numerically equal. However, molar mass has units of grams per mole, whereas relative atomic mass has no units. Next, we'll look at how to calculate the molar mass of a compound. In this example, we'll determine the molar mass of ethanol which has the molecular formula C2H5OH, which has the molecular formula C2H5OH. On the right we can see one molecule of ethanol. One molecule of ethanol is made up of two carbon atoms, one oxygen atom and six hydrogen atoms. On the left we can see the relative atomic masses of carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. First, we'll calculate the relative molecular mass of ethanol, which is 2 times 12.01 plus 16 plus 6 times 1.01, which gives us a relative molecular mass of 46.08. Because this is the relative molecular mass, it has no units. To convert to molar mass, we multiply the relative molecular mass by the molar mass constant. And this gives a molar mass of 46.08 grams per mole. So to summarize, the molar mass of ethanol is 46.08 grams per mole. This tells us that one mole of ethanol has a mass of 46.08 grams. So next we'll look at some more examples. In this table we have the substance, the relative molecular mass or relative formula mass and the molar mass. Starting with molecular oxygen which has the formula O2. The relative molecular mass of oxygen is 32.00. Its molar mass is 32.00 grams per mole. Next we have water which has the formula H2O. Its relative molecular mass is 18.02. And its molar mass is 18.02 grams per mole. Next is methane which has the formula CH4. Its relative molecular mass is 16.05 and its molar mass is 16.05 grams per mole. Next we have sodium chloride. The relative formula mass of sodium chloride is 58.44. The molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams per mole. Next is ammonium carbonate. Its relative formula mass is 96.11 and its molar mass is 96.11 grams per mole. And finally we have aluminium oxide. Its relative formula mass is 101.96 and its molar mass is 101.96 grams per mole. So this highlights the point that relative molecular mass or relative formula mass and molar mass 
are numerically equal. The difference being that relative molecular mass and relative formula mass do not have units, whereas molar mass has the units of grams per mole.